Hello everyone, welcome to Curious. For many Indians, especially in South India, there is absolutely nothing more fulfilling and filling than a crisp yet fluffy dosa. As many say, any breakfast can fill your stomach, but a good dosa fills your soul. Popular all over the country, it may be one of the most well-known dishes. But where did this dosa come from? Whose noble idea was it to create such a dish? And what are its possible origins? Karnataka and Tamil Nadu not only fight over river Kaveri, but also on who created dosa as well. According to food historian P. Tankapanayar, dosa originated in Udupi town in Karnataka, which is perhaps why you see most South Indian joints with the word Udupi in their name. Chalukya King Someshwara 3's book had also jotted down a recipe for dosa under the name of Dosaka. But according to food historian K.T. Achaya, dosa had been in Tamil culture since 1st century AD. He believes it was a part of ancient Tamil territory that includes Tamil Nadu, Puducherry, Kerala, Lakshadweep Island and only a few parts of Andhra Pradesh and Karnataka. However, legend has it that a Brahmin cook from Udupi, in an attempt to escape his religious expectations, wanted to consume alcohol. As alcohol was not available to Brahmins, he set out to ferment his own alcohol using rice, which was highly unsuccessful. He ended up pouring the mixture he created onto a hot pan and spread it around. When cooked, it became a creep-like dish, which we know as dosa. As drinking alcohol is considered sin according to Brahmanical ideology, these creeps were apparently named dosha or sin. Gradually, the name got transformed into dosa. The dosa's complement chutney was invented in Karnataka and it derives its name from the word chata, which is a Kannada word for bad habit. So, a dosha or sin must be accompanied by chata or bad habit. It is said that dosa was initially served with plain potato gravy. However, there was a shortage of potato. So to make up for potato shortage, onions were added to it. But since Brahmins were not supposed to eat onions, it was hidden within dosa and rolled up so that everybody including Brahmins could eat it. And today we know this dish as masala dosa. The nar was introduced to dosa by Madras Hotel, present day Madras Coffee House in Cannot Place, New Delhi. By late 20th century, however, many Udupi chefs had migrated to larger Indian towns and cities popularizing the dish across India. In 2003, Chennai-based Saravana Bhavan chain took the things to next level by opening South Indian restaurants in various countries starting in Dubai and expanding across continents. Dosa has continued to grow in popularity around the world mainly due to large Indian diaspora who regularly devour the dish and its many variations. Kamala Harris whose video of making masala dosa with actress Mindy Kaling took Twitter by storm last November during her election campaign. Can you imagine a dish as simple as dosa would influence US presidential election? Over the years, the batter's flexibility to be dished out in many variations has aided and lent itself to dosa's evolution as Comfort food. Dosa batter making process has evolved over years from stone grinding, which was slow and tedious, to a grinder, which was heavy and inconvenient to use, to a mixer, which every household owns, to a ready mix batter, which is available in every supermarket. If I give you dosa batter and you dropped it by mistake on a stove, that's dosa, bro. <laughs> The availability of ready mix supermarket batter for a lot of people it has reduced cooking to easy pouring on the pan. This has also made people create unwanted varieties of weird dosas just for a few minutes of popularity on social media. Red sauce pasta dosa, dry fruit dosa, matka dosa, fruit salad dosa. In spite of all these, dosa has many records in its name. 
For example, masala dosa has been the most ordered vegetarian dish across India during pandemic. Sankalp Hotel breaks its own Guinness World Record and prepares 53 feet long dosa. A hotel in Hyderabad serves most expensive dosa which is of worth 916 rupees which was created using 24 karat pure gold. Whether people call it dosa, dosai, dosa, dosa, crepe or Indian pancake for South Indians dosa remains more sacred than a mere breakfast or fast food item legend has it that just like our fingerprint or dna no two people can swirl a dosa the same way no matter how much one tries in our family dosa isn't just another food it's an emotion that cannot be replicated it can only be experienced in the moment what's your soulful dosa experience do let us know in the comment section below thank you